Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic in the series on prayer is heads up and our angle scripture is taken from the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 26. In the same way the spirit comes to us and helps us in our weakness. We do not know what prayer to offer or how to offer it as we should, but the spirit himself knows our need and at the right time intercedes on our behalf with sighs and groanings too deep for words. One of the most amazing things I have experienced about prayer is the ability of the Holy Spirit to steer you away from what you think you need to another line of prayer. It happens to me all the time and I am so grateful to God for this help from the Holy Spirit. The Bible says the Spirit of God helps our weakness. Other versions say infirmities. Now this word does not mean sickness or illness in the original translation. It means our limitations. As humans, we are such a limited species. With all the advancements in technology and increase in knowledge, our flesh is a major limitation. And compared to spiritual intelligence out there, we cannot see beyond our noses. That is why I continue to say that prayer really is humility. It is knowing your place. It is knowing that you are more or less clueless. Anyway, I digress. The Bible says we do not know the right prayers to offer or how to even offer these prayers. That sounds almost hopeless, but the Bible does not stop there. It says, but, but the spirit himself knows what we need and at the right time. So what does he do in the place of prayer? He begins to nudge us and say, I know what you think you need is healing right now, but you need to pray to have more love in your heart. Or I know you think that job or position is your topmost priority now, but what you actually need is protection. He begins to give you a heads up on what you really need. Happens all the time. I'm praying for one thing. The Holy Spirit begins to nudge me in a different direction. What a privilege. The thing is, however, that the Holy Spirit does this through the agency of praying, especially praying in the spirit, which hopefully we may discuss in this series. If you are not a person of prayer, you will be unaccustomed to the nudgings of the spirit and consequently miss the heads up he will be giving you. Please be a person of prayer. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for this word. I pray that we will all receive the grace to be sensitive in the place of prayer. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.